DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Buck Yeah Longhorn Fab Shop Muddy Outdoors Ridge Runner's Guide Service Scent Blocker Spy Point Steady Form Sinclairville Seed Company Timberland Realty And also by these fine sponsors. Hi, I'm Brian Madison with Deer and Fan.com TV. The season is wrapping down. As of now, there's this episode, one more new kill that we haven't shown you yet, and then the season finale. So we're wrapping it up. And this week's show is going to be of Mason coming through in the clutch. In the last few days of Kansas' bow season, in the cold and the snow, when it would be real easy for a lot of hunters and hunted hard all year to call it a few days early, but, but uh, not the Canops out in Kansas, man. Not us, the deer hunter fan. Hunters don't give up to the very end. So this week's show is going to be Mason out with his bow in Kansas. Feeling a late season buck day. It's December 29th. <clears throat> I'm out here filming myself tonight again at Zax. I was out here this morning <clears throat> and had a pretty decent eight pointer in here in range. And right before I drew back to shoot, he decided to walk off. So maybe that was a good thing. Maybe it wasn't. But we've had a, we've had another nice eight point showing up on camera. So. <laughs> There's still snow on the ground. I think it's gonna be a pretty good evening. We're running down to the last last couple hunts, so hopefully we can get it done tonight. I think it's gonna be a pretty good evening.
Alright, well, it's the next morning. <clears throat> I backed out last night just because I had something I had to go and do, so um, I was running late anyways, so um, on my way out, I just kind of walked the trail where I saw him run, and he was squirting out blood pretty good, and I'm almost 100% sure he's dead, but he ducked a little bit, and I hit him a little high, but I think I might have got a lung, so I'm going to walk this trail and go up into the timber where where I think he went and it was so loud in here last night with the snow and being so quiet that I'm pretty sure I heard him crash but I'm not a hundred percent sure but I think we'll find us a dead deer today there he is right there baby all right here we are with him um, I came out here last night to Zach's and uh, I was sitting on the food plot filming myself and uh, we've had some snow and sleet on the ground for the last couple days so the deer have been looking for a food source and sure enough him and another another decent little nine pointer came into the food plot and I think he was getting my wind or something so he wasn't he wasn't wanting to come onto the food plot just yet and so it was getting dark and I decided to take the shot and uh, he ducked my arrow a little bit, but I think I caught a lung, and he didn't run but 150 yards at most. And uh, I'm glad I could get him. He's not a he's not a huge giant deer, but he's just a good management buck, and I'm happily I'll happily wrap my tag around him. I'd like to thank Scent Blocker for this camo that they sent us this year. For the snow, it's been real cold, and just putting on these jacket and pants, it's nice going out there, not not shivering or shaking up in your tree stand. So that's good. Um, it's a good end to the 2015 deer season and we're looking forward to next year already. I hope you enjoyed that hunt and uh, it goes to show you that I know a lot of times some of the most memorable hunts that I've, some of the most memorable tags I've filled, uh, most of them you would say are you know the bigger bucks that you're able to kill. I know with me uh, always uh, killing a good buck with a bow is something that there's nothing like it but I can also tell you that second to that or right there even the late season buck tags that I filled are always very memorable to kill a, a deer when the season's winding down and the conditions are are rougher and rougher uh, more work goes into it at a point where you've a lot of times already exhausted yourself throughout a deer season so it's hard uh, things that are hard become harder, so they're a lot more rewarding. And any kill, any time you fill a tag is very memorable, but uh, to kill a, a buck like Mason did there with a bow late season uh, is huge. And uh, I guarantee that one will stick with them for a while. I'm Brian Masson with Deer Hunter Fancom TV. I'll see you next time. DeerHunterFan.com TV is sponsored by Buck Yeah, Longhorn Fab Shop, Muddy Outdoors, Ridge Runner's Guide Service, Scent Blocker, Spy Point, Steady Form, Sinclairville Seed Company, Timberland Realty and also by these fine sponsors.